Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to show you some results and some things I've been up to with this uh, Crystal Art Magic Glue. Now I got it a couple of unboxings ago um, and I said I would have a play and I would let you know how I got on. So I've been trying it on a few different things and I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Um, this glue, it says that, uh, let me just put my glasses on. Uh, apply a thin layer of glue onto your work surface with a brush um, and the glue will remain permanently tacky and dry clear. Wait for the glue to become completely clear before adding glitter, um, foil, rhinestones and other embellishments. So what I thought was this is similar to um, another product that uh, another company does. Um, which is quite a bit more uh, money than this one and uh, you can actually cover over a picture and in effect make it like a poured glue canvas so I've been trying on a few different little bits and pieces and we'll see how we get on see what it looks like okay so I've applied a thin layer to these two leaves that I've coloured in here we were having a play with this one before this is the craft buddy uh, sunflower stamp um, that we were trying before and previously I used the premium quality glue with the fine tip nozzle uh, I used that to just put little dots of glue as you can see it has completely dried clear now um, I've got lots of different coloured stones on there so it's giving it a different effect um, so what I did I coloured with my gold pro marker again um, onto these two leaves and then I put the sealer on top I used one of the little craft buddy uh, brushes and just put the glue on and then just use the brush to spread it across a little bit now what I found is that it has spread um because I'm not very careful <laughs> with the paintbrush uh, it has spread onto uh, uh, the other area there so I'm possibly not going to be able to colour over that now so put, it would probably be better to do a whole project and then use the glue but I just wanted to try this and see how it went so that's the first one that I've done that's on like watercolour card watercolour paper so we'll see how they stick to that. Oops, <gasps> clumsy loons. Just put those out the way. Then these are a couple of um, craft buddy cards. This is the little Westie and baby. Look at that one, I love that. That little smiley face, how cute is that? Um, there wasn't any glue on the tail there. As you can see, oops, get a bit closer for you. As you can see there on the uh, tail, there's three little O's there. Um, so I put, again, I put some of the Crystal Art glue. Normally I would have used um, this one, as I say, uh, but I thought I would try the new Crystal Art glue, see how it goes. So I've put that on. And this one uh, was my fault. I caught the ear, I got the plastic cover um, the wrong way around. It, it folded back on itself as I, I was doing this project um, and it took the sticky off just the ear bit there. So I've sorted out the drills that I need to use for those. So we'll have a go with those. I've got my cover sheets because I've been keeping them covered up. Now, I, I did do these a couple of days ago. So whether it's better to use it straight away or whether um, it stays tacky, we'll have a look. Uh, I have been keeping my... Uh, release sheets, cover sheets, wax paper, whatever uh, you call them. I have been keeping those on it, so that's kept it uh, dust free. Okay, and then the other thing I thought I'd try, just pop those out of the way a second. I do need a bigger desk, is some MDF. And I've got this notice board that I'm going to be doing. Um, and I decided I wanted to cover the letters in crystals. So the C and the R, I've covered over I covered over once now it will be uh, about 10 days ago that I did this so it'll be interesting to see how it's dried out um, and then the R I've just gone over again this morning just to see how that goes so that's very tacky this isn't as tacky now as it says you can use your foil which I can understand glitter and everything but I'm wanting to know how well it's going to hold the drills so we'll have a play with this Okay, so first of all then, let's have a look at how it goes onto the Craft Buddy cards. 
Now you'll be pleased to know I've actually got my magnifying glasses on ready for this so that I can see what I'm doing. Let me grab uh, a little tray because I only need a couple um, of uh, drills for this. So we'll do the outside ones first. Um, I've made myself a, a Scotty Dog pen look. I don't know if it shows up very well on the camera. Oops, there he is. He's a little Scotty Dog pen. He's, uh, you can see his little oops eyes there and his little nose. He's got a little nose there. Black doesn't tend to show up brilliantly, does it? <laughs> yeah, you can more or less. He's got his little tartan collar on as well. And all I've done, um, it was a, a normal pen in here and I've just taken the normal barrel out and then I've stuck one of the clear uh, pens in there, one of the clear drill pens. So yeah, I've made myself a little Scotty Dog pen. So seeing as with Scotty Dog crafts and uh, Millie approves anyway, although she does want to now bite this Scotty. She likes anything soft and fluffy. Millie is our Scotty Dog uh, that we have. I haven't got children that want to start biting fluffy things. Okay, or even hubby, you, know, you never know if they get hungry. <laughs> okay, so let's just put those in there. Give them a bit of a shake. Now these are the um, darker coloured drills. So let me have a look. So we want one of those there. And I don't know if these glasses are making it better or worse. And one in there. To be honest, I think they're making it worse. But anyway, and we want one there. And this is new wax in this pen as well. So that's not... Just let me alter my glasses a little bit. No, nope, I'm going to take the glasses off because these are my glasses. <laughs> it's uh, not working very well, so let's uh, just take that, <laughs> take those off and see if we can do it without. So we have J, J, what was that letter there? Let me look. And that was K. So they were the darker colours. Oops, have I got two drills there? Let me look. That's two drills stuck together. Take that one off. So... And then we want all J's just here, so we'll put those back in the bag. These are all the little spares. What I've decided to do um, with my uh, spares that don't have any DMC numbers on, um, I'm actually putting them in just bags. They're more or less mixed colours. They're just the closest colour to it. Um, so rather than having 447 different, trying to match up different ones, it's just if that's a colour there, um, I'm just going to pop it in one of those bags and it's just the nearest match. And as you can see, when you tip them out, you can decide which one you want. Okay, so these are lots of different colours. So I want the paler colour. Oh! <coughs> Okay, so we want the paler colour. So let's have a look here after I've just managed to spill them all over the place. So that's that colour there. Ooh, what have I managed to get stuck on my pen now? A bit of wax, okay. So let's see. Uh, we want that one there. Just pick that one up. And it does seem to be sticking really well. It's working the same as if you've just... Uh, got a normal card with the normal canvas there so yeah that's uh, quite impressive so yeah they're stuck down really well okay the only thing I will say is that I can feel the tack so possibly after you've used this um, you will need to then seal it because it is very very tacky on this edge here where it's just gone over a little bit and I can feel the tack through, you know, if I press down there. So you, you might find your card would maybe stick to your envelope or whatever. Whereas these drills, where it's been normal tack uh, as the card comes, there's no problem at all with that. <laughs> Look, that one's stuck in its eye. Let's take that one out there. Don't want one of those eyes, does it? <laughs> okay, so yeah, so that's still quite tacky. So you would really need to seal that. So that's the kittens done. That's the kitten card, which is beautiful. Look at that. Ah, drills everywhere. It's the flowers that get me. These flowers, look at those. They're just so sparkly. Just really, really sets it off. And uh, I've substituted there as well. I've put um, different colour. I've put uh, actual rhinestones on the collar 
and on the little uh, name tag there as well so that it just sparkles that little bit more as i said when you're doing cards and things like this and projects like this um it is your project and to be fair you can just take them off if you put something on give it a try have a play um, and if you put something on you just oh no i don't like that color that doesn't show up very well it's not what i expected just take them off and put them back how they were um, you've got your various different ways now of either using your magic glue or your normal um, glue there so you can uh, easily put your uh, drills back on again if it becomes a little bit unsticky but yeah it's worth a play but so yeah I had a bit of a play with that one I do like my sparkly rhinestones and those flowers are beautiful look at those really really good anyway we're not looking at this we are looking at how well this sticks so that's those two colors done so i can pop those away now so yeah i'll pop those back oops what i'm as i say actually doing and i am going to have to get a, a better box but i do want it as a see-through box is um oh, that's my three tens look the black drills the dreaded black drills yeah a lot of those are in a big bag um, it's try and keep them in like colour families and I'm just popping all my drills in some good bags and putting them in here uh, but what I'm trying to do as I say is keep them in colour families but I want to be able to see them as well so if I put them in like a, a storage box that's see-through then I can see them a bit better because I want to be able to pick out which colour I want um, without having to go through all my DMC numbers on my others. So I'm going to use these for my stamp. So yeah, I've just got myself a little tub. Um, you can see there, look. It's a bit of a glare, sorry. Yeah, you can see I've just put them in sort of colour families, not 100% matched. But uh, yeah, and that's the darker colours and the greens and the blues and things at that end. So when I'm pitting down now, rather than getting rid of the drills that haven't got DMC numbers or putting them in my spares jar and putting them all into these little bags. I'll see how I go. I'll probably end up with having too many and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so we want the white ones now. So I've got some little whites out and we just want three to go on this little Westie's tail. Oops, that's rather too many, but that's okay. Give my tray a little shake. Okay and pick them up it's quite funny using a scotty pen to do a westie and just put those little drills on there oops that one doesn't want to stick that's it okay pop those away before i spill them so that's that card finished as well but as what i'm going to do is seal these cards because yeah that i think you can hear that that's yeah really quite sticky where the normal glue for the card is there's just no stick at all but where i've used that magic glue it is yeah you can hear it it is still sticky and as i said that's likely to stick to your envelope um and not be very good but if you seal these which i mean you could just seal that one little bit it doesn't matter um then yeah it it, it just uh, is another way of uh, saving your cards and using your drills okay so that's card number two completed so let's have a look at our sunflower then so what i did um i colored my these two petals in and then i used a brush and i put just a small layer and um, i'll do a couple once i've done this and shown you this and then we can have a look um, and then these again are the gems now we did that one uh, in the previous video when i was showing you the stamps so let's have a look uh, at this one now and i'm not bothered about what color they are so we'll just pick them up yet yeah. and what you're needing when you're diamond painting is for whatever surface you put in your gem you drill down onto to be stickier than the wax that's in your pen so that it the pen lets go and the gem remains on the paper on the canvas on whatever it is you're working on and look this one is working really really well so you can make your own canvases so if you've um got say a double-sided tape canvas they're the ones that come with the covers that you can't see through 
um, and they are a lot more delicate and you tend to get rivers and bubbles and uh, you can't roll them backwards you've got to be really careful taking the paper off because it can create bubbles then you could actually take the whole of that double-sided tape off and re re uh, use this glue to redo your canvas. Now, none of Crystal Bu uh, Craft Buddy uh, Crystal Art canvases are double-sided tape. They are all um, the poured glue, the good quality. So you wouldn't need to do that on one of their canvases. Um, unless you'd say had an accident if you'd put a piece of paper. I've had um, a canvas where I've been looking at the legend that came with it, put it down and it's gone on my canvas. Um, and I have had to just re-glue a little bit of my canvas doing that. But uh, yes, yeah, so that's all of those done. Let's do the other leaf. I'm enjoying this. I do like uh, using, uh, doing diamond painting. I think it's so therapeutic. And uh, I'm loving this glue. This is brilliant. So in future, rather than using my uh, premium quality glue, I'm going to use this because this has just turned this sunflower that I've stamped the image into my own little like, diamond painted card, which is great. And so you can probably see all these drills are slightly different colours, but I don't mind because it's a flower. Okay, just do the last few on this. Whoops. Got a bit of glue on the side of my pen there, so it's... Uh, just catching. Okay, let's just finish these last few drills off and then I will go ahead and finish this sunflower. But yeah, that's... Uh, I'm impressed. I like this glue craft buddy. I'm pleased I bought two because I think once people realise what it can actually be used for, they are going to be buying this glue an awful lot. So let me just try and see. No, well, I, I can colour over it a little bit. That's the part where I've um, unfortunately put the magic glue by mistake. Um, yeah, it does colour over it a little bit, look, but it, it's uh, not as good. So I would recommend actually colouring. Yeah, you can see because the glue is there, it's not taking the colour, but it has taken some of the colour. I would recommend um, actually colouring in your whole canvas before putting your glue on. But yeah, that's, uh... oh, I could sit and do this all day. Okay, and then I am going to be cutting this flower out because I have got some projects that I'm going to be working on. Oops, as you can see, yeah, you can see the lighter parts where it's uh, the glue has been so you can do your shit look at it's gone all the way over here that's how messy i am i'm a very messy crafter i'm a very but i craft for me um i don't craft for other people i mean I, I do make things for other people but i craft for my pleasure and if i'm enjoying doing it it doesn't matter if I've gone over the lines a little bit or I've splodged a bit of glue or one of my lines isn't quite straight. As long as I've had the pleasure of doing that canvas, then that is all that matters to me. And of course, putting a smile on somebody's face if you then give them a completed project. Um, and it looks good at the end. There's no mistakes in craft. They're all just happy accidents. They can soon be rectified. And if this completely goes wrong, well, at the end of the day, it's just a piece of paper, isn't it? And I can just throw it away and do another one. Because I've got a stamp and I can do hundreds of these if I want to. So, yeah. Okay, that's enough. I'm not going to colour anymore. Otherwise, you'll be absolutely bored of me colouring. Um, and then all I will do is now get some of my glue and just put little tiny bits oops on here oops that's way too much really um i have got some craft buddy brushes but what i've done with them i don't know so i will just grab one of my other brushes this one's a bit big really it's not ideal but uh, yeah 
so all I'm going to do is just go around these edges here and I'll go over that bit again there this isn't an ideal brush and this brush is absolute rubbish but it doesn't matter if I go over the edges that way just put a nice little coat in make sure that that is all coated and done this brush is pinching all of my glue which isn't good Okay. Yep, that glue's all on there. So that's my glue, and I'll leave that to dry. And then once that is dry, then I can put some more gems on. So yeah, so that's sunflower. Okay, just put my little white gems out of the way there. So now we just want to have a look at this one. Okay. So, what colour am I going to do this? Let me get my gems out and have a look. Oops. I'm just going to try a couple on it um, because I'm not sure what colours I'm doing. I may even do like A, B's or something. But, um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a hot pink. Let me just have a look. These are all my spares. Look, not that I do a lot of craft buddy cards that I've got crystals on or anything, but... Uh, yeah, I've got quite a few spares. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hot pink. We'll do some hot pink. Okay. Just put those out of the way. So, just get my little tray again. As I'm just going to try a few and see what they look like. She says tipping out loads. Right, that's too many, really, in this tray. Again, as you can see... Um, the crystals, the way I store them, I've got lots of different colours in there. Um, you can see there's different shades, but I can, I can just pick out which ones I want. So, oh, <laughs> oh dear, oh, I reckon throw them all over. Hey dear, what am I like? It's one way of getting them stuck down, Liz. We just put those back in there and then we'll try again. So give it a bit of a shake. Look, I'm spilling these as well. <sighs> the clumsy crafter, I think I ought to be known as. Right, so let's have a look at this. So this is the area that I've done this morning that has dried, and that is a second coat. And this is the area that I did about 10 days ago. So let's try the 10 day one first. And see how oh it is sticking. Oh, it helps if you pick a gem up, Liz. It is sticking. It's gonna take a lot of doing, a lot of gems to cover this, but I think it'll look fab when it's done, and I will be um sealing this anyway. So yeah, let's just uh oh, I've got them stuck to the tray there. Let's have a look. And there's one that's decided to stick up on its end there. I do seem to get acrobatic drills. Um, that like to stand up. I think it's just the way I diamond paint. Uh, it's I'm having to put them down squarely for it to grip, so it's not overly tacky, um, but it's not brilliant. But if, I'm not sure whether this MDF has maybe absorbed some of the glue. Um, maybe it does need more than one layer to be tacky. That is something that I will keep playing and I will keep showing you the results. So, yeah, they are quite stuck. They're not coming off. They're not going anywhere. And as I say, I will be sealing that. So it does stay tacky enough for you to put some gems on. Give it a good shake. Nope, they're not going anywhere. So let's just try the one that I've done this morning. Okay. Yep, you do need to put the drills down uh, flat for it to grab. Okay. And yeah, you see, probably I'll be doing this letter in different colour. Oh, what am I doing? This is because I've taken my glasses off. Look, no, that's two stuck together, that's why. These are the problems I have um, with normal drills. You see, that's a, a rubbishy one as well. Nearly said a swear word then, sorry. Um, these are the problems I have with my eyesight that I can't see drills when they're stuck together because I've not got 
a good enough vision. Um, and also, I particularly can't see, I can with these because they've got silver on the other side, but with normal gems, I can't see which way up they are. So I don't really think that's made much difference. Um, I think it's going to be down to personal preference. And because I am sealing it anyway, it, it's not going to make any difference. So yes, yeah, so using the magic glue, I have now stuck those to MDF as well. So I'm very impressed with this glue, I have to say. Uh, let me just put these gems away. So I will be ordering more because I know there are lots and lots of things that I don't want to do with it. So I'll just put that into my gems. Okay, so we have done MDF, we have done watercolour card. And we have done shiny uh, craft buddy cards and they have all stuck with the crystal art glue. Okay, well, I think that's uh, me done for now. Hi, I'm back. So, I was having so much fun with my sunflower that I thought I'd uh, finish it off. So, there you are. One sunflower, all nice and sparkly, if it can just focus in. Uh, not perfect by any means because obviously it's been cobbled together a bit using different glues and things but I think that's quite effective um, and the different colours in the beads have given it a really good shine. Now for the middle I just thought I'd try something different as well. I do like to play and I've finally used my little micro beads, caviar beads. Um, they're very very tiny. I think you can just about see them little like beads and they're great for sticking on double-sided tape um, and I thought I'll give them a go on this glue and see if they stick on this glue and yeah you can see look they have and they're not coming off so that's just made the middle of my sunflower in a nice like bronzy colour there so yeah so that's the uh, sunflower stamp if you were wanting the sunflower stamp again nice big clear stamp and once you've stamped it out it has oh we've got quite a bit of glare there sorry it has all the um different little holes where you put your bit uh, your drills or your crystals as i have in this case but yeah so i thought i'd just pop on the end of the video and show you that i have finished my little sunflower okay hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing a few of my little hints and tips and what I get up to. If you have, please press that subscribe button. It's down in this corner here. There is a bell next to it. And if you press that, it sends you notifications when I upload my next video. But thanks ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.